Now let's define the boundary conditions. You can see the various parts of our geometry that we specified from the name selections. If you click on inlet, you can see that it was already determined to be a velocity, which is correct. But we now want to give the fluid the proper velocity, so let's go into edit. We'll change the velocity specification method to components. And we'll input negative 12 meters per second for the z velocity. So this is because the fluid is moving in the negative z direction. The turbulent intensity and viscosity ratio are correct, so let's click OK. Now let's define the velocity at the top inlet. Again, we see that it's, it was already chosen to be a velocity. So we'll go and edit, and we're going to really do something very similar to what we just did. Change this here to components and again put negative 12. Click OK. Next let's click on outlet. The type is pressure which is correct. If we click on edit we see that the gauge pressure is zero. Now you have to be careful with this value because this gauge pressure is relative to the operating conditions. So let's take a look at the operating conditions. We see that the operating pressure is one atmosphere. So given that the outlet has zero gauge pressure, um, it means that its pressure is in fact one ATM as specified in the prompt statement. So all this is good. Next we're going to look at the periodic sides. We see that from their names, Fluent guessed that the type was a wall, and this is actually wrong in this case. We want these types to be interfaces. And we'll change the periodic number two as well to interface. And finally, our fluid is of type interior, and that is good. Okay, let's now go in the mesh interface and uh, click create edit. This is where we set up the periodic interface that we went over in the pre-analysis section. Name the mesh interface periodic. Then enable periodic boundary conditions and also enable matching. Then change the type here to rotational uncheck auto compute offset and input an angle of 120 degrees. Then for interface zone 1, let's choose periodic 1 and for interface zone 2 we'll pick periodic 2. And we can actually choose periodic 2 or periodic 1, the order doesn't matter, we just gotta choose one and then the other. So we'll now click create. and close. Okay, so we created it right here. Um, now is a good time to save our project, so we'll do that.